the next step is I want to go in and have a look at just a bit of the basic sciences of why we use the CO2 gains in nature and on plants and why it actually works. To start off with, um, let's just have a look at what CO2 is and look at the atomic mass of CO2. Uh, it's made up of one carbon and two oxygens. So when we look at the atomic mass of carbon, it's 12, and the atomic mass of oxygen is 16. When we add that up, we get a total of 44. So essentially what we're saying is that CO2 has a magnetical and gravitational field strength of 44. So that's a different way of saying the atomic mass is to more or less say the field strength of the CO2. When we have a look at the breakdown of, of the elements of, of plants and animals, plants com composed of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, roughly about 96%. Um, these percentage ratios will, will vary from plant to plant, but that's the general guideline. When you look at humans and animals, we're also composed of oxygen, carbon, hydrogen, and nitrogen, around 96%. So that's all that we are made, made up of. And they combine to form different amino acids and then combinations in your body. So when we have a look at the amino acid structure, uh, we're looking at uh, Cohan, which is carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen. Um, and these combine to form your various amino acids and proteins in the body of the plants and the animals. So when you look at, we've got CO2, which has carbon and oxygen. And when you have a look at the cohans in the plants, it's also carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and for the animals as well. So there is your link because the carbon in the CO2 is going to link up with the carbon in your plants and in the, the humans and animals, and the same with the oxygen. So that gives you your link as to why the CO2 is going to work on the plants and the body. So when we look at the uh, field strength of CO2 is 44. And we do the same with the basic amino acid structure. We look at the atomic mass of carbon, which was 12, oxygen 16, hydrogen one, and nitrogen 14, gives us a total of 43. So you can see how the CO2 with the Magra field of 44 links up very nicely with the uh, field strength of your basic amino, amino acid of 43. 